Exact Track 4D detects dangerous weather days ahead of time so you can make the right plans for your family. So I know the last couple days we've been talking about how beautiful it is, but I know unfortunately some rain is on the way. Yeah, just a day. Just one day, oh, but, it, okay. but it's going to make a big change in our weather. Mm, yeah, okay. so it's going to be nice Enjoy leading up to it. Yeah. yeah, but big day of rain and then big changes after that. Okay. Uh, All right, you interested now? Yeah, like, what I have to say? It has to be some good. It has to be <laughs> some good. So because I just know this is going to get colder. I'm afraid of what you're going to say. Uh, yes. Oh, All right. No. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. Winter is coming. Oh, no. Oh, here's 501 Riverside, and it is beautiful. Yeah, in the very background of this photo, or this camera shot, rather, out in the distance, we have uh, Everbank Stadium. We have the fairgrounds all through here and plenty of blue skies across our area and temperature is not that bad. We're only a couple degrees off where we were yesterday morning, which was a little cooler. We're a little warmer this morning, mid 50s right along the river, a little bit warmer out in Columbia County and through Baker County this morning, but still lovely weather. We did have some low visibilities out west as well. So just keep in mind if you encounter some low fog, it should be burning off in the next 30 minutes or so. Temperatures though will also be a little bit warmer as our high temperatures move into the mid 70s today. We stayed around the low 70s yesterday and we'll see a couple degree warmer today and 72 in St. Mary's 75 in Nahunta today in southeast Georgia another lovely day hit the corn mazes definitely go out and do your shopping if you can outdoors find a farmer's market or something for sure and through our northeast Florida counties we're also going to see some really nice weather temperatures staying in that mid to low 70 range as well along the river today and west of I-95 East of I-75, look at this, mid to upper 70s for you folks. It's going to be lovely. You're going to love it. It's going to be a little bit warmer than we should be for this time of year. We should be right around 73 degrees. All right, Tropical Storm Sarah still happening through the Gulf of Honduras. Brought over 20 inches of snow to, uh, snow rather, rain to Honduras. And that is uh, devastating rain for those folks. And moving into Belize by noon today is expected landfall. And then will definitely start to fall apart after that. So once it crosses over the Yucatan Peninsula, it really will lose a lot of its strength. It will lose a lot of its, any, any type of formation that it has. Really, it hasn't had a lot. And then this low pressure is going to enter the Gulf of Mexico. And what it's going to do beyond that, well, it's going to merge with this front that we have coming our way. So right now we have area of high pressure bringing us our glorious weather, lots of sunshine, dry conditions. So make sure your sprinklers are working. But look out west. This is the cold front that's coming across Texas through Louisiana into Tuesday, moving through Mississippi and Alabama and bringing some, perhaps some heavy rains and conditions to the peninsula of Florida, right into the panhandle. This is the remnants of Sarah in this low pressure that's going to kind of meet up with this, bringing tropical rain our way by Wednesday. And that's going to be the wettest day along with that cold front. But for today, we're going to move into the mid 70s. Should be really pleasant tonight. Temperatures will drop into the upper 40s, low 50s for just about everyone. A little bit warmer out at our beaches, a little bit warmer than we're seeing this morning, just by a couple degrees. But Aaron, here is where you want to tune in. OK, so. We're going to have nice warm up. You're going to love the next few days. We're going to hit 80 by Tuesday. Clouds are going to really start to move in along in front of that cold front, which is going to bring us all our rain on Wednesday. Make your plans to be indoors on Wednesday. Thursday, once that cold front really does push through temperatures, Aaron, we're going to see highs in the mid 60s. Thursday and Friday, not too cold, but definitely a 20 degree difference for some folks over the next few days. Hey, what's that?